So I came up with the idea to start my project Empower Econ sometime in September. So it was something that was on my radar for a while. And that's because I wanted to create like a live learning experience for teenagers to learn about personal finance because a lot of people don't have it in their schools. And when I had the idea to kind of create a financial education camp was this summer I attended a computer science camp and I really enjoyed the experience because I thought that everyone gained something from it. And it was just an amazing place where everyone was so excited about learning. And so I kind of wanted to create that with um, a financial education camp. And so that's how I had that idea. And then I thought about it and how I wanted to do it for about a month, a month and a half. And then I started to tell a lot of friends or just a lot of people on the internet if they were interested in making this happen. And so I brought together 20 people to help organize the event. And then we held it from December 20th to 22nd. So um, we had 50 participants from 12 countries and four continents. So it was um, kind of international. And I think that it has impacted a lot of participants a lot because number one, they really enjoyed learning the process, like the learning process, instead of thinking that it's an obligation and they have to learn about finance. And a lot of the feedback that we got was um, they really enjoyed our speakers, they really enjoyed the content, and they also really enjoyed the environment because everyone was so excited to be there. And so I think that we kind of, our goal was to give people this confidence and show them that financial education is not as intimidating. And before the event, we asked them to rate their own confidence in their financial knowledge, and they gave um, an average of 4.17. And after the event, all of them, when we added it together and found the average, we found that it was an 8.09. So it doubled nearly, which is incredible. And I want to continue doing that going into the new year. I think hosting the event itself was really enjoyable because over the process of the three days, I would learn a lot and see like what people enjoyed the most or what they wanted to be improved because we had feedback forms at the end of each day. And so I kind of saw it evolve, like evolve after every day. And I think that was really enjoyable and just seeing my ideas come to life and seeing that people were actually like enjoying this. I think that I learned a lot about project management and managing a team and setting deadlines for different tasks because a lot of times the deadlines that I have are like school related, but this time I was creating things with like different teams and giving them deadlines and checking their work. And so I learned a lot about planning in advance and planning for things that happen in the future and setting deadlines for that and just managing projects and managing teams. I think that it's the process where I learned through it and I grew through it and I had never hosted events in my life and so this was something that was entirely new to me and so seeing that I was able to develop these skills throughout the process has kind of shown me that if I want to do something it's about like being willing to learn throughout the process instead of knowing things from the beginning and so it's really given me a growth mindset and every time I want to do something now I'm like if I don't know how to do it I'll just figure it out and learn and google it and learn from other people. So I am really interested in financial education and economics and things of all that sort. And I also really enjoy teaching. So I was able to combine those interests and create an opportunity for others to be able to learn this information as well, instead of just learning for myself. I think that one thing that I think about now is a lot of our audience don't have personal finance classes in their own high schools. And so going into the new year, now I want to start maybe local chapters of our organization in Power Econ in different high schools or communities where people can provide workshops or resources um, to people in these communities and give them the opportunity to learn as well. I think that I would want to work more on bringing like creating local opportunities in different parts of the world. I think that with what I'm doing, it's really focused on adding something that isn't often in the education system. And so I think that I would work with different schools and different communities to kind of create things like classes or curriculums for different schools to implement. So that's something that I would definitely want to work on. 
I think that um, I right now, and this is actually an improvement I do want to make, is I want to make it somewhat more structured or organized internally. I think that we have a lot of different members who are working on a lot of different things, but it would be more beneficial if we had specific departments that worked on specific tasks. And so that's something that I want to improve because I think it would be much more efficient. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me.